Okay, today we're going to have a little fun with a 3D printed flywheel powered car. I started with this uh, Thingiverse flywheel powered car by Q2 Slinger. And it looks like it was April of 2019 that he put it up there. There were a lot of things about the design I liked and now that I started playing with it there were a lot of things about the design I didn't like so I did a remix of it which will be up on Thingiverse and I'll uh, have a link to that if you want to look at it. But um, in order to build it you're going to need a couple of things. One you're going to need some sort of glue. I like using the uh, number 16 weld on because it's uh, less expensive and it holds really quick and fast. And in my case I'm using a bunch of 2 inch outside diameter washers with half inch holes. That's why it says half times 2. And I just bought a, a bag of them off of uh, eBay. 25 in there and I ended up using I think 11 of them in my case. Depending on how thick they are you might use more or less to make the flywheel mass. And then this is the tag off a little thing of bearings that I bought off eBay as well. The inside hole of the bearing is 6 millimeters, the outside diameter is 10 millimeters, and they're 3 millimeters deep or thick. And I ended up getting 10 pieces of those bearings. So, bearings and washers and some sort of glue. And then let's get into putting it together. So basically when you print, all the parts can print on this uh, whole thing with no supports. And I split the axles so they print laying down. And when we go to put it together you can glue the two half of the axles together if you want. But it isn't really necessary because the uh, gear is hex fit to the shaft. And you're going to be gluing it onto the shaft to hold it in place. Well that will hold the two halves of the axles together. Plus the little bearings are going to get pushed on the very ends and those will hold the axles together. So it isn't really necessary to try and glue the axles together, but you can if you want. But uh, it'll be obvious that the gear gets glued on one side here and then this ridge starts forming a place when you start slipping these washers on. You can stack as many washers as you can on here and then this piece gets glued on the as an end cap to uh, secure the washers. If your washers are sloppy fit to this, Wrap a little electrical tape or something around uh, around that. You want your washers snug because you don't want the, the weight getting funky. So here you can see I just stacked as many as I could and then glued that on. I'll actually put a little uh, drop of glue in between uh, each washer too so they wouldn't tend to want to spin individually. So it's, it's one big mass forming the whole project. So here you can see another view angle of it. And then we're going to start just putting together other axles. You can see the two bearings are going to going on the ends, and you, you'll have a big bearing that fits in one place and a little bearing that fits in the other place. There's different uh, ones depending on where they're at in the uh, assembly. And when you start stacking them up, it'll become obvious which ones have to go where. But uh, you can see how they're going to fit in. So a few of the other things that I changed in the remix is you can see the original frame here, the bearings are going to sit in just the same diameter hole all the way through. So when you build this thing, the bearings can just walk out either side and the shafts move. So I redid uh, the frames and added a lip so the bearings are captured so your axles can't walk. It isn't shown on this. I ended up not using this piece, making that mod and then printing new ones. Um, the other thing I particularly like about this particular design after I had it made was that the uh, the gear pitch is so fine, there's so many teeth that the depth is so shallow. It would be better to have, say, half as many teeth with a deeper depth so that you can ensure that they're going to uh, always make contact. So we're here we're stacking them up. You can see how they're going in. This is going to be one of the rear axles. Well, this would be the drive axle. The front axle doesn't have any gear. Like so, showing how the bearings would fit on the front axle. So the rear axle you can see is in place, the drive axle. When I ended up gluing these uh, posts on the, on the frame, I found it easier to uh, do that 
ahead of time to make sure they were square and all in line so that things would fit together. Now I could just make those part of one side of the frames that they print on there, but they'd be printing uh, vertically then, and things that are small like this tend to break along the print lines when they're printed vertically, whereas when they're printed flat, the print lines are this way, so it's a much stronger piece. So I think it's better to glue them on just for strength reasons. So here's one of the new ones, and you can it's a fuzzy picture, but you can see where I added the lip in there to constrain the bearings so they can't push through. And then on both sides, you've already seen that picture. And these are basically just pictures of the thing put together, different angles. Has a lot of mass to it. So let's try and get a, a run video. I'm going to be moving the camera here. The only hallway I've got in the house. All right, that made it uh, all the way to the end of this hallway. I would have to go out to the robot and have to get a longer run, but uh, it's probably 10, 20, 30. This is at least 40 feet, and it uh, still had a lot of power when it crashed into the wall, so it's a pretty good flywheel. So the only reason I made the car is I'm thinking about doing this flywheel design to do a uh, flywheel-powered walking robot. So we'll see if I can take what I've learned from this and turn it into a different robot toy. All right, in the description below you'll see a link to uh, this design on Thingiverse in case you want to print it. It's just three platters of parts. All the uh, axles and gears and all that kind of stuff is one platter of parts. The wheels, the four wheels, and one more platter, and then the two body halves is one more platter. 